right. It is, I suppose that will do just as well. Okay. It is Sunday morning and the kids have gone. They have left. They're headed off to Home Depot to go get my stove, my range. I am having my coffee and I've got found the bucket downstairs. Not the bucket I was looking for, but whatever it'll do. It's a big tough bucket, so that'll be it's good. I've got to clean the area where the stove is going. Because that well it just got exposed last night. barking outside but I have my dog here so oh wow the dog going across the street there oh it's it's Martina's dogs barking at this little doodle poodle smurf thing anyway um, they're going to get the stove the, the area behind the rain, behind the, where this cabinet was. See, when we moved here, there wasn't a lot of counter space and we had this big uh, cooktop, which needed a place. So we found a counter and put a hole in it and put our cooktop in it. And that's what has served us for well, 20 years. But my husband was not a very tidy person, one. And two, um, the kitchen was always a jumble of things. Uh, the two previous counters were cut apart. This here, this here, uh, another cabinet was found in another place. So it's always been a, a, you know, Frankenstein. And nothing fit properly. So there was always space behind where things could fall down. And the whole kitchen is on top of a crawl space. The house is rubble, has rubble uh, foundation. <sighs> That crawl space might have inhabitants, but it is closed off from the rest of the house. More people walking by outside. Wow, it's kind of nice when I can see right here what people are doing out there, which was the whole reason. Now, the only thing I'm missing yet because the carport is going to get finished coming up week and it's not finished yet is my mirror because when I'm working here I'm working I've got pages open I can't see okay so the whole idea is to know what's going on there where I can't see a thing so my mirror which is attached to the carport has to be there nonetheless Anyway, I have some spick and span, and I'm going to clean. Oh, that's, that's Tracy leaving. Um, clean behind where the stove is going. Because nothing there is complete, right? It's just bare wall, bare, partially painted drywall. This stove, this range was totally unexpected, right? It was spur of the moment, so. And the kitchen's getting redone. So we're not gonna do anything except clean up. And so we were ripped, they ripped that out last night. 
cleaned and vacuumed, but I did not um, buy the spick and span, so I'm doing that now. Except I'm having my coffee first. I'm talking to you. Then I'll get, after I get that cleaned, I'll get back to work. <clears throat> because um, I still have my afternoon class to finish up. What will we do next week for the other class now that this term is over? Did two units for that term. Not too bad. Some people do more, but work, employment, is a big unit and I just kept going with it. Nobody seemed to complain. Nobody complained at all. There was no seeming. Today's Remembrance Day. ceremonies here and there. My mother-in-law always is very uh, intent on at least watching Remembrance Day ceremonies on TV, if not actually attending them. She was Dutch and she was very appreciative of the Canadian forces that fought, helped Holland and the Netherlands during the Second World War. She was an amazing lady. She um, <clears throat> was very brave during the war and did dangerous things. She told stories. There's another dog. Wow, it's dog walking time. You didn't go walk for her. You just got let out. <laughs> you have to go walk today. You and your ears. <laughs> yeah, so what they did last night was not go to buy something at PetSmart. It was to pick up something, pick up something from someone they had pick an aquarium up that they had bought on Kijiji and then they went to PetSmart to check out things that they might need for the aquarium. I got them yesterday. It is upstairs already in use so that none of those fish kill each other anymore. I had fish when I was a teenager. Those fish that they have don't do a thing for me. I really like goldfish. I think they're beautiful. I had my goldfish. His, its name was Coley. I don't know if it was a girl or a boy. And he lived three years. Not much longer. He was in a round goldfish bowl, which was not terribly good. I did eventually get all the things that you need for an aquarium, but that was after Goldie. Subsequent fish didn't do that one. I gave up on fish because I didn't like the constant cleaning thing. Go to the water. There goes the dog. Or maybe but I see in the summer when, when I'm out there. I'm sorry, I have cats. They don't go out except for once. You can't, you really can't, you can't get caught out. <laughs> yeah, so I've got, I've got this water here um, on the table, which Mimi brought down uh, because she changed aquarium water. I'll be using that today when I water my plants. Because 
be is plant watering day. Almost done my coffee. I'm gonna go clean the wall. Clean the wall. It's gruesome. What are you doing up there, cats? I have coffee today. Loads of coffee because my sister-in-law came yesterday and I made coffee fresh for her. So we all had coffee and I have coffee this morning. And by golly, I might have coffee this afternoon, which is, well, actually I have two cups of coffee every day. My, my uh, coffee mug holds two cups. I would like to get this ring put into a proper This is, this holds, this, my husband died, his body went away, we're happy with what happened with his body, but his brilliant essence is here, always to remind me, okay, so I would like this in a better setting. Hey Tracy. In a better fitting, because this is horrible ring to always wear. It's too thin. So will it cost me an arm and a leg to get it put into a different setting? Just silver, that's all I ask. I have to ask. I'm gonna have to ask. Ask someday. Just silver, right? Silver's not that expensive. That's all. I like silver. I prefer silver to gold. I don't like the look of gold on my skin. I like silver. So I want this, like it is, in silver. But a wider band. So that it doesn't always spin around my now, if it were tighter, it wouldn't spin, but it's then it's a thin, narrow thing on my finger, and that's just not, well, maybe, just get it tightened. I think I'm going to go talk to the man who tightened it, ask him what I should do. Cut it once more to fit, make it fit better, or have it reset. What do you call it? Reset. Anyway. I would like my husband's spark to be with me. Anyway, I'm going to go brush my teeth and then wash the wall. 